hi in this video I want to teach you how to do this beautiful poncho with a sleeve it is one of my favorite pieces that I made so far it look amazing to me I don't know if you, it's your taste but to me I just love this piece it's very easy to make it's done a crochet and knitted and here is the separation between the body and the sleeve you see very easy to make and I hope you guys like it and give it a try and here is the list of materials you're gonna need to make this beautiful poncho to make this uh, poncho with a sleeve the yarn I'm gonna use is from Loops and Thread Charisma both of them are exactly the same type of yarn uh, bulky five uh, this one is ashes and this one is yellow the color I'm gonna use five of these ashes and two of the yellow um, they're a hundred grams on each ball uh, five millimeter crochet hook and I'm gonna use these two netting needle circular netting needle this one uh, is six millimeter with a shorter cable is for the sleeve and this one an eight millimeter with a longer cable is for the color um, you're gonna need tapestry needle scissor and a marker and if you don't have circular needle and then you have to do uh, the color and the sleeve with the crochet hook maybe you know how to knit with a four straight needle and then you can do um, like sacks netting your color and um, a sleeve but I don't know how to work with four needles at the time so it had to be a circular needle or crochet you're gonna start with a slip knot and you're gonna do 90 chains 90 90 chains I have my 90 chain now you're gonna make sure that your chain is not twisted if you look at the chain you will have a flat surface and a more round on the back you have to make sure all the flat surface is to the top that way the chain is not twisted and you're gonna make a circle by doing a slip stitch on the first chain like that and this is the color uh, in the top part now we're going to chain three and that count as the first double crochet now we're going to go to that same space where we did the slip stitch and we're going to do two more double crochet the chain three counts as the first one and total will be three now you're going to chain three and in that same space you're going to do three more double crochet You're gonna chain two, and that is the center of the back or the front. You're gonna wrap your yarn around the hook, and here the first, the next chain is very tiny and small, and almost under the last double crochet. So you have to make sure to count that one one, two, and then the third one you're gonna do two double crochet together. You're gonna chain two. And you're gonna count one, two, and then the third one, two together. Like that, you're gonna continue until you have 14 of these two together in this side of the chain. You have to have 14 of those group of two. Here I have my 14 group of two double crochet. Now you're gonna chain two, wrap my yarn around the hook, I'm gonna count one, two, and then the third one. I'm gonna do exactly the same same that I did on the beginning here. I'm gonna do three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet in the same space. This could be either for the front or the back of the garment. Um, for me, this will be the front since I'm changing color. 
it will be better to have the part where I'm changing it on the back. You can use one color for the entire piece, or you can use a mixed color like this one along without using the yellow. Uh, you can use uh, for each row different color. If you have leftover from different project, uh, as long as they are almost the same thickness, can be um, different type, even different make, but you don't want to use a very thin yarn with a thick one. But as long as they are almost the same, you can use them. No matter the color or the type. And uh, you can, I'm going to do with mine one row of yellow and two of this one at the edges. Now you're going to chain two, wrap your around the hook, and remember the first one all is hiding underneath at that one, one, two, and then the third one, you're going to do your two together. Like that, you're going to continue until you have 14 of this group, and you're going to finish here with a chain 2 and do a slip stitch and the third chain on the top here. Here, I'm going to finish with a slip stitch and the third chain on the top. I'm going to chain 1, cut the yarn, and then I will start with the next color, and you're going to end with a piece like this. If you're going to continue with the same yarn that you are working right now, you're going to slide you work, do some slip stitch until you get to the center here at the space of chain 3 and then from there you'll continue chaining 3 and repeating what we did here but as I am changing color I will show you that right now to start the next row we're going to do the slip knot and we're going to come here to the center of the chain 3 space where we have the tails and we're going to chain three either you're working with the same color that you did until now or a new color you're going to chain three and that count as the first double crochet now we're going to do two more double crochet we're going to chain three and two more double crochet, three more double crochet in that space. We are repeating exactly what we did on the first row. Like that. Three in this side and three in this. Now we're going to chain two. And we're going to do in that chain two space two double crochet. And like that is row number two. It will be easier for you because you don't have to be counting where to put the chain 3 here. Just in between those group of 2, you are making 2 more double crochet. Just like this. So I'll meet you here at the end here. And I will show you here in the corner and then you can continue on the other side. Here I am at the tip. Now I'm going to do 3 double crochet, 3 chain, and 3 double crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to chain 2 and 2 double crochet. And like that, you're going to continue with every single row. Now you're going to chain two. I'm at the end of this row. Count one, two, and then the third chain, do slip stitch. And do some slip stitches to slide or work until we get to the center. Remember, if you're working with different color yarn and you want to change color again, here you will do a slip stitch, chain one. Pass it through, cut your yarn, and then here, where you're going to chain 3, you're going to start chain 3, but with the next color. 
and if it's the same column, you will do this again, like I did. After uh, this row, I'm gonna after the next row, I'm gonna then start with the yellow again. Do one row of the yellow, and then I will change the color and do two of these. And like that, I will work until I have the length that I want for the top, and then I will divide it for the sleeves. I will work off camera after that after I do my yellow row and I will let you know the length and centimeter and in row before I divide my piece like I said to leave the opening for the sleeves. Here I'm going to start with the yellow color. Remember if you are working with one color you will continue working without cutting your yarn and if you are working with one color in each row it's exactly the same same for each row. You're gonna do a slip knot. You're gonna chain three and do two more double crochet for a total of three with that chain. You're gonna do three chain and three more double crochet in that space. All the rows are exactly the same. And then after this, I will continue off camera. And then, like I said, I will give you the measurement in row and centimeter, just in case you're using a thinner yarn. And you have to do more row to have the same length as mine. Um, this is what I've done so far. I did 18 row and measure from here to here 30 centimeters. I divided the space for the sleeve and the body. I counted uh, nine, two double crochet together without counting the tip. And I placed the marker and the chain to a space after the number nine. And then I count um, 13 of two double crochet together. And in this space in the back, after the number 13, I placed the marker. I have nine in the front and nine here in the back. Uh, those two together. The same I did for the other side and now I have the piece ready to be um, separated the sleeve from the body. Now I'm gonna start working with a color that is the next, is the yellow. I'm gonna start as I did so far with my chain three and I'm gonna do my three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet in this space, and I will continue with uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet until I get where the first marker is. And uh, here in that space of chain two, you will do your two double crochet together, and then from there we will gonna be jumping to the other side of the piece. We're working on the body of the piece. So you'll continue as you've done so far, but until the mark. Here, I finish with my two double crochet together. Now I'm gonna chain seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna turn my work around. Wrap the yarn around the hook. I'm gonna come to the other space where I have the marker. And I'm going to do two double crochet together. I'm going to chain two and continue two together. I'm going to continue like that until I get to the next marker. You're going to continue working, doing the tip, and all the way to the next marker. When I get to the marker, I will do my two together and then I will jump to the back of the piece. Here I did my two together where I placed the marker. I'm going to chain seven and seven. Put my yarn on the hook, put my work around, and go where the last marker is and continue working two together, chain two, two together until I get here. So now I'm working with two color and I do only one row with a yellow, I will do my slip stitch, chain one, cut my yarn, and I will start here with the next color. I'm now will be working around the body, 
and then after I finish with the body I will be working on the sleeve. Now I'm going to start with the next color and working exactly the same as I did before until I get here and then when I get there I will show you how to work on the chain space. Here I have my two together, now I'm going to chain two, I'm going to turn the hook, I'm going to go to the first chain and I'm going to do two together. Chain two, count one, two, and on the third one, I'm going to do two together, two double crochet together. Now I'm going to chain two, when you are on the hook, and one, two, and then the third one, two together. We're going to end with three groups of two together on that chain seven space, like that. Now you're going to chain two. And continue working all the way around the piece, yes, in the body part. Like that. You're gonna continue all the way around, and when you get here, where the chain of seven is, you're gonna do exactly the same, same, the three group of chain of two double crochet together here in the chain space. For mine, I only gonna give five row for the length, uh, the side. I tried to give more row, and it started to get wavy, and I don't like the way it look. So I decided to leave only five row. I did more, but I had to undo those row. Uh, if you find a way to work in the body part or uh, in that part under the arm that uh, don't get wavy, and you, or you like the way it look, you continue doing whatever length you like, but for me I like only five. And now I'm going to show you how to work on the sleeves. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to do the sleeve. My sleeve is a combination of crochet and knit. Uh, this type of uh, sleeve you have to do it with a circular needle. You can fold it like this if you like. Or you can do it like this. For me, it's like this because uh, this part is like three quarter sleeve, and this is the rest rest of the sleeve. And to do that, you need a circular needle. If you don't have circular needle, then you will have to do a crochet because this type of sleeve had to be done in the round. So let's start with the other one, and both of them are the same. Now we're gonna start working on the sleeve, and both of them are the same. So it's the same same that you have to do in them. You will have your hole like that. And I'm going to grab my yellow yarn. You're going to grab whatever color you did, the space of seven here, or you do in different color, whatever color you like to start the slip with. You're going to do a slip knot. And you're going to come here. At the center, two together, and in that little, uh, space there, in that loop, you're gonna pass your hook and pull your yarn through, and in that space, you're gonna chain three, and that count as the first double crochet. Wrap your yarn on the hook, and in that same space, you're gonna do another double crochet, and that's the two together in that space. You're gonna chain two. Wrap your on the hook, you go to the next one here, and do exactly the same in that space underneath there. You're gonna do two together. You're gonna chain two, and now here where you have these two together, where I have my uh, marker that I never removed the marker in that same space there of the chain two, you're going to do two together there. And why we have to do two together there? Because we uh, jump that space, we'll have a hole too big in there, from here to here. And then you're going to chain two, and go to the chain two space, and do your two together. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around. Until you get here, where the other marker is, exactly the same as you did on the other side, you're going to do two together here, and then two together in that space here, 
and then chain two and slip stitch. But when we get there, I will show you one more time how you're going to continue. Here we are at the space where I have my, the marker. Once I finish this row, I will remove the marker. Now we're going to do two together in that space. Chain two, wrap around the hook, the yarn around the hook, and come here to that space here under those two together in the little strand of yarn, and I'm gonna do my two together. Chain two, do a slip stitch in the third chain, chain one, cut the yarn, and now I'm gonna change color. Like that, you're gonna continue. If you like, you can can do five row like we did here for the body. And when you try it on, you will see that look like it's part of the body that you don't have a sleeve. Only you know that you have a sleeve when you lift your arm and you see the separation. But it looks really nice too, just with five row as the same amount that we did for the body. But for mine, I like uh, with a long sleeve. So I'm gonna show you with the other color. Now we're going to start with the next color, but if you're doing the same color, remember to continue. You don't have to uh, change color or to cut yarn or anything. Now we're going to chain three here and count as the first double crochet in this space of chain two. Now I'm going to do another double crochet. I had two, chain two. And go to the next chain, two space, and do two together. Like that, you're gonna continue all the way around. Either changing color or however you do the body, you have to do the combination of color with the sleeve. For mine, I did ten row uh, for the sleeve of crochet. After I finished with the ten row that was with the yellow, I cast my stitches for the net. When I get to the 10th row, I will show you either how to do it with crochet or if you want to do a net. So I'll meet you here when I finish my 10th row. I want to show you how this leaf is going to be looking like. So I'm going to continue working with the same yarn for the next row. I'm going to do a slip stitch here and I'm going to walk my yarn to the next space of chain two, just like that with a slip stitch. And then I will chain my three, counts as the first double crochet, and do my next one here. And like that, I start all over again doing the next row with this color. And then when I finish this row, I will cut the yarn and change to the yellow. But if you are working with the same color, you will start doing exactly the same that I did there and continue each row. Here I wanted to show you just in case you want to leave your um, poncho short sleeve like this, the same length as this here. And then here I did this one that I forgot to count uh, as part of the body. I said I did five, but it was six in total because this was the one that I did the chain five space, and that's why here I was missing that. Uh, a space in here. So it was six. And six here for the sleeve, exactly the same length. And if you like, you can leave it just like that, short sleeve, and look really nice. You just lose your tails and you have a, pon a poncho with short sleeve. But now I'm going to continue mine until I have ten row. Here I finished my tenth row. And now I'm going to show you how you're going to continue. Uh, I'm going to give you two options. If you like to do it with a crochet, or the knitting needle. Here I'm gonna start showing you with the crochet hook. I did a slip knot. Now I'm gonna go here in between the chain space here and not in the, in the chain like that. And I'm gonna chain three. And that one counts as the first double crochet. And now you see I will skip that one and go to the next one. One in the next one. Let's skip the next one and go to the next one like that. You try to do it evenly all the way around. And you can do 
how many you can put around um, the this part. The important thing is that you're making it a little smaller than what it is right now. Like that. So I'll meet you here when I have mine done. You can do 30, 32, any amount you can fit in here as long as smaller. Here I did my 36 and I wanted to mention if you want to have less you can the best way to do it and in evenly space is in one space of one chain do one double crochet skip one chain and do one in the next one and like that will be a smaller this part in here uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, we're gonna be working in the back post I finish here this row with a slip stitch now I want to work in the chain three on the back that way it look like it's work and the back post like all the other ones you don't want one straight here I finish with my slip stitch I hope you guys can see well and you're gonna go with the, uh, the hook go around to the back of that post pull your yarn through do a single crochet chain two and there you have your first back post double crochet you wrap your arm on the hook, go to the next post, pass it through the back, pull your yarn through, and do your next one. And it's a shame that I had to do it with the dark color, but that's the one that <laughs> is uh, in the ball of yarn, the darker one. So you're going to come here behind this post and do again your back post double crochet. Like that you're going to do all your end of the sleeve until you have the length that you want. And I wanted to mention if you want this to start to get a little more narrow you can do some decrease because with two needles knitted it's always start to get smaller. But with crochet it stays exactly the width that you crochet your sleeve. They don't shrink like this. You get narrow. So if you want to do that, I will show you after the next row how you can decrease some uh, back post. That way uh, it will be easier for you and you can see how to do that part in here a little smaller. So you're going to continue working on the back post all the way around. Like that. Here I finished row number two. Now for row number three, we're going to do exactly the same that we did in the row before. You're going to go around that post through the back, pull your yarn through, do a single crochet, chain two, and if you look, you will have exactly the same as the other one working in the back. You're going to continue working in the back post. If you want to do some decrease, you'll wrap your yarn in the hook and then go in the back of two posts. Pass to the back and do your double crochet, just like that. And you're going to continue. Don't do the decrease too close to each other. And because the yarn is thick, you don't going to see the decrease that much, that evident. Um, you're going to do three, four decrease in that, this row, and I recommend not to do a decrease in each row. For example, this is row number three, you do a decrease, and row number four, you don't do any decrease. And row number five, you will do the next decrease. Uh, you're going to continue like that, working until you have the length that you desire for the cuff of the sleeve. And you will finish with a slip stitch, just like this. That we, I did here to finish this row, a slip stitch, and then you chain one, cut your yarn, and lose the tail. You will do exactly the same for the other sleeve and for the color of the poncho. And then after you finish that, you will lose all the tails and you have done your piece. Now I'm going to start with my circular needle. 
and you don't have a circular needle and then you have to do it with crochet like I mentioned before because this is a round piece and you don't can do this part with a straight needle so I'm gonna start you have to cast them with the needle that way no this way I'm gonna start in one of these space here I have my slip knot I'm going to pass it through with my crochet hook and that is my first stitch. Now I'm going to pass it through the next one and sometimes I will skip a space, a chain space because I want to have 36. I cast on 36 for my other sleeve. This is 2 for 2, uh, the sign for the sleeve is 2 net for 2 pearls. Two net, two pearl, two net, two pearl. So you have to have 36 or 32 because if you st start the row with two pearl, you have to finish with two uh, net or vice versa. If you start with two net, you have to finish with two pearls. You're going to continue casting. You see, I'm skipping here and there and skipping a stitch because I want to have my 36. like this I cast on my stitches. Um, this row I don't gonna count but I didn't count it in the other slip so in this one neither and I did uh, 26 row plus the number 27 was the one that I cast off. I buy myself one of these 50% at Michaels. I have a, a coupon from the computer and it was regular um, Eleven ninety nine, and I bought it for six um, to count my row. And for this to do the net part, you will need a marker too. But you can count your row with a piece of paper and pen. So I'll meet you here when I have my thirty six stitches on my needle. Here I finish casting on my thirty six stitches. And why you have to start this way backwards? Because you want to finish with the yarn that you're going to continue working in your right hand. That's for the people that work with the right hand. But your left hand, you will have to cast on the other way to finish with your yarn in this side. And now you need the marker because we are working in the round. I'm going to place my marker there. And I'm going to start my first row. I'm going to do two net. And now pass my yarn to the front and do two pearls. Pass it to the back and do two net. Like that, so I started with two net, I'm going to finish with two pearls. And you, uh, for me, it's 26 row, and number 27 is the cast off. For the color, you're going to do exactly the same. If you look, the next time I have to work in the color will be with the ash color. So I will cast on, I don't know how, uh, how many uh, stitches I can cast on, as long as I start with two net and finish with two pearl. I'm going to be counting on a piece of paper, a two net, two pearl, two net, two pearl, until I finish with two pearls. And that will give me the amount that I need for the color. You have to have the numbers like that, because you don't want to start with two net and finish with two net, because and then you will have a four stitch piece. You want to have them even, like this, like the sleeve. Uh, I'm going to do mine off camera because you're going to do exactly the same same that you did in the sleeve on the collar and just with more stitches e either you're working with a crochet or net is exactly the same um, I want to finish mine off camera 
and I will show you the end result when I'm ready to put in the mannequin that I already have lost all the tails and everything is ready to go. Okay. When I'm going to cast off either one of the sleeves or the collar, I will show you how to do it, just in case you're a beginner and you don't know how to do it. But it's the same either for the two sleeve and the collar. Here I finished my first row, and I just wanted to show you for those beginners that never had knitted in, with a circular needle, to continue what you do is pass your marker to the other needle, and then you're going to count your first row. For me, it's just clicking here, and it, it show me that I done my first row. If you don't have one of these, you can write it down in a piece of paper. Why you have to keep track at the row that you do because you have to do another sleeve and you want to do them both the same length. For the color, you don't have to keep track of how many rows you do, but if you want to, because you want to do another one the same, you can do that. But uh, it's no necessary. Only in the sleeve because you want to do the two the same. One more thing that I wanted to mention, if you know how to knit and you have a circular needle and you have to choose between finishing this piece, uh, the sleeve and the collar with the circular needle or with the crochet, I recommend the circular needle because it gives a better finish to the piece, it looks uh, much better. For the collar, I cast on 72 stitches and I did 16 rows. And now the number 17 is the one that I'm going to cast off. And it looks just like this. I mentioned that I want to show you how to cast off just in case you don't know how to cast off. Uh, and I'm using a bigger size needle for the color. But if you only have one size, it's okay to use it for the sleeve and the color. To cast off, I'm going to net one and two I'm gonna pass the first one on top of the second one and I there I cast off or bind off the first stitch I pass my yarn to the front and I'm gonna do a pearl and that first net I'm gonna pass it through the top of the pearl I'm gonna pearl the next one and I'm gonna pass the one from behind on top of that one. Like that, you're gonna start casting off or bind off your stitches. And now I pass it to the other side, and I'm gonna net this one because it's a net, and then pass this one on top of that one. Neck the next one. You're gonna net the net and pearl the pearls as you uh, remove them from the needle. And that way you'll have a nice and even uh, finish. And at the end you'll end up with only one. And that one is the one that we're going to sew to the other side because you'll see that it's a little uneven. But as you finish with the tapestry needle, you'll even it up with one stitch. This is the last one, the last uh, stitch. And then I'm going to pass it through after I cut the yarn. Do a chain, and now with the tapestry needle, because if you look at your, at your work, it's not an even finish. You will do one stitch here and top of that last um, or the first net, and it will have a finish. Here, I'm gonna pass this through that net, the first net. And I'm going to lose that tail in the back, and I will finish my work. Here is what I finished, and I lost the tail. Now uh, I'm going to lose the rest of the tails inside the piece, and I will show you the end result. Something that I wanted to mention before I show the end result is that I use a thick yarn, but if you are using a thinner yarn, you have to do more chain in the beginning. For mine, I did 90, and these are multiple of 6. Uh, the chain because you have to do three on one side and three and the other each time you increase. Um, if you want to do a smaller and then you decrease six at a time, six chain at a time. So it's something that I wanted to mention. Uh, that way you know if you when, the type of yarn that you're using, if you need a bigger or a smaller. Here is the end result, and I just love this piece. It's amazing how it looks.
I love the way the color and the end of the slip look with the netter part. If you don't have a circular needle and you want to do this project, I recommend to buy some because the difference is amazing from crochet and net. Well, I hope you guys like it and give it a try and send me some pictures on my Facebook page if you do one of these. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And have a beautiful day. Bye.